question number 26 a proton collides with an electron which means what just write proton plus electron what are the possible products of the nuclear collision so what happens is here you have a plus one charge here you have a minus one charge whatever you get here should have a zero charge and see this has a mass number one this does not have a mass number because you know the mass number here is much much lesser the electrons mass is lesser as compared to proton so whatever the mass it takes up this would be nearly equal to the mass of a proton okay so therefore there's some extra masses here some, some other product should also be there. Now let us read this. Two neutrons, definitely no. Because if it was two neutrons, this should have become two. So not possible, only one is present here. Neutron plus positron. Neutron, neutron is a possibility because so you have zero and one. Plus positron. See, this cannot be a positron. The reason is because you have two particles, real particles here. You have a particle and an antiparticle, right? So it violates the conservation of a baryon over here. Okay, so baryon law has been violated, left hand number is also violated in that case, so you cannot have that. Then neutron and an anti-neutrino, you can put a neutron and an anti-neutrino, anti-neutrino is what? Anti-neutrino once again an anti-particle, if positron is not possible, how can anti-neutrino be possible? No, you can have an anti-neutrino only when you have an electron and an anti-neutrino is possible. Okay, so but not in this case, right, then a neutron and a neutrino neutron and a neutrino 0 and 1 plus nu e okay this is possible because both are real particles so neutrino is used only for countability for the energy so this is possible so d is the right answer